गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस ऑन द एज ऑफ वर्सवत टॉकिंग अबाउट अवर लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू द लेक्चर रिलेटेड विथ फिस्ट ऑफ इंग्लिश लिटरेचर ऑन द चैनल लिटरेचर स्वप्निल and here the next lecture that is title is the the age of wordsworth which is also called the age of romanticism as well as the return to nature its timeline is 1798 to 1832 the events and incidents happens in this era which were so much remarkable such as the french revolution which occurred in 1789 after that the european war so that there was a war between england and france took place in 1793 and the bill which is called the reform bill passed in the parliament in 1832 this era is specially known for poetry and for that there were so many schools were there which emerged in those schools the first was lake poet or lake school the these terms were applied to estical reach robert sute william wordsworth and it also sometimes applied to dequencials the expression lex school seems first to appear in the edinburgh review of august 1817 lord byron who makes play with the term and in the dedication to don juan which refers slightly slightingly to all the lakers in his recollections of the lake poets equency denies the existence of any such school there was another poet school which title is cockney school the term cockney school firstly used in blackwood's magazine in october 87 when lockhart and his associates begin a series of attacks on the cockney school of poetry lehunt was the chief target but william hagit william hagit and john kitts were also objects of frequent derision there was a next school satanic school satanic school is tended under which robert sute attacks lord byron and the younger romantics in the preface to his a vision of judgment after talking about the major poets there were some older poets in this romantic era and the most uh, attractive personality radian star in the history of poetry whose name is william wordsworth we will talk about him his timeline is 1770 to 1850 and uh, his uh, thought pro belongs to pathism and there were some important literary works such as an evening walk descriptive sketches both are the beginning poems by wordsworth which wrote in heroic couplets after that there was a grand literary work appeared in 1798 and this grand literary work title is lyrical ballads its full title is lyrical ballads with a few other poems it is a collection of poems by william wordsworth and st coleridge it is a joint production by william wordsworth and 
एस टी कोलरिज इट्स फर्स्ट एडिशन एपियर्ड इन सेवनटीन नाइंटी एट सेकेंड एडिशन एपियर्ड इन एटीन हंड्रेड विथ प्रिफेस द सेकेंड एडिशन ऑफ लिरिकल बैलेट्स अपियर्ड विथ न्यू पोएम्स एंड प्रिफेस जनवरी एटीन जीरो वन द थर्ड एडिशन ऑफ लिरिकल बैलेट्स केम इन टू एग्जिस्टेंस इन एटीन जीरो टू and it was a landmark in the history of english romanticism third one was written largely in somerset in the book biographia literaria estricolde says lyrical ballad was agreed that my endeavors should be directed to persons and characters supernatural or at least romantic mr wordsworth on the other hand was to propose to himself as his object to give the charm of novelty to things of everyday coleridge right mr coleridge's contribution to the first edition were the rim of the ancient mariner foster mother's tale the nightingale and the dungeon these were the famous poem by mr coleridge and that in the first edition edition we find william wordsworth some famous poems including ballads as well as narratives for example the thorn the idiot boy simon lee the old huntsman and more personal poems such as lines written in early spring and lines written a few miles above tintern abbey there was a second volume of the second edition added many of william wordsworth most characteristic works including the so called lucy poems the old kimberland beggar and michael a pastor there was another literary work by wordsworth its title was the thor the idiot boy was a ballad which firstly published in lyrical ballads in 1798 takes as hero the idiot son of a poor country woman whose name was betty foy betty foy is sent off on horseback by night to fetch the doctor for a sick neighbor he is so long gone that his mother sets out to seek him and finds him at last by a waterfall either the pony has wandered freely through the moonlight to the boy's delight the neighbor recovers and sets out to meet mother and son and all three are happily united there was another literary work by william wordsworth simon lee after that expostulation and reply lines composed about tintern abbey and the next one michael which is a pastoral poem it was written and published in 1800 it was a narrative in blank verse and michael describes with a moving strength and simplicity the lonely life in grasmere of the old shepherd michael his wife and his beloved son luke there was another work the old kimberland beggar she dwelt among the untrodden ways strange fits of passion have i known nothing the one of the grand literary work created by william wordsworth its title is the prelude its the prelude has a full title a subtitle growth of a poet's mind the prelude is an autobiographical poem wrote in blank verse it was addressed to st coleridge it present title suggested by mary wordsworth it originally intended as an introduction to the recluse and the prelude was completed in 1805 the prelude is a record of his development as a poet and it included 14 books 
there was another work by william wordsworth the recluse which was incomplete next one was the excursion is a poem written in nine books it published in 1814 and the whole work was to have been entitled the recluse also grand poems written by william wordsworth named the lucy poems and these poems has given a name by william wordsworth these are the group poems the most of these poem were written in germany in the exceptionally cold winter of 1798 to 1789 the poems are remarkable for their lyric intensity and purity the identity of lucy has aroused much speculation the name Lu the name lucy used in the ballad lucy grey also written in germany and published in 1800 there were other famous poem by william wordsworth such as the solitary reaper the green linnet i wandered lonely as a cloud ode on the intimations of immortality recollected from childhood which is an ode is composed in 1802 to 4 or 6 published in 1807 This poem is an irregular pindaric ode in eleven stanzas. Resolution and Independence is a poem by Wordsworth. It was written in eighteen zero two and published in eighteen zero seven. Resolution and Independence, sometimes known as the Leech Gatherer, it was based on a meeting recorded in Dorothy Wordsworth Journal. her october 1800 with an old man almost double whose trade was to gather leeches there was another work ode to duty sonnets dedicated to national independence and liberty the white joy of ralston the wagner is a poem composed in 1805 and it was published in 1890 The Wagner was written with a dedication to Charles Lamb. There was the next poem, Peter Bell. It was written in 1798 and published with a dedication to Robert Southey in 1890. Peter Bell, the third, also a poem written by P. B. Shelley, which was a satirical poem. and it was a parody of wordsworth poem there was another work yaro revisited which appeared in 1819 there was one of the there was one single one drama written by william wordsworth its title was the borders actually it was a verse drama it set on the borders of england and scotland during the reign of henry 8 sorry henry 3 many cos of shakespeare's king lear and also of skillers the robbers there were some 523 sonnets were composed by william wordsworth and in those sonnets he was followed petrarchan form out of 523 sonnets there were some memorable sonnets such as it is a beauteous evening calm and free the world is too much with us upon westminster bridge london to milton concerning the relations of the great britain spain and portugal as affected by the convention of sintra this was actually prose work and it is an essay also there is a next favorable writer famous writer in the romantic era as well as history of english poetry 
whose name is Samuel Taylor Coleridge. His lifetime was 1772-1834. He was known as poet, critic, philosopher of Romanticism. Coleridge coined the term Pantisocracy. The agrarian literary society that Coleridge and Robert Sute planned to establish on the banks of the Susquehanna. Carlyle says Coleridge is the sage of Highgate. Charles Lamb dedicated the essay of Elia to St. Coleridge. Charles Lamb described in it Coleridge is an archangel of little damage. Charles Lamb says St. Coleridge is a logician, metaphysician, and bard. Silas Tomkin Cumberbatch says that Coleridge is the false name under which Coleridge enlists himself in the cavalry. There was first literary work for, by S.T. Coleridge, which title is The Fall of Robespierre. It uh, is a verse drama. The first act of this drama is written by S.T. Coleridge. And the second and third act are written by Robert Sutte. There was a first book on the poems, which title is Poems on Various Subjects. It is issued at Bristol. The next grand work, which title is Lyrical Ballads, which appeared in 1798. It is collaborated with Wordsworth by S.T. Coleridge. In this collection of poems, Wordsworth wrote 19 poems, Coleridge wrote 4 poems. And in this collection of poems, the major and famous poem was contributed by Coleridge, which title is Rim on the Anset Mariner. It was one of the famous poem by Coleridge, which title is Christabel. Its first part publishes in 1797 and second part published in 1800. Even though it was remain unfinished, incomplete. The first part was written at Nether Stowe. The second was written at Keswick in 1800. In this poem, Coleridge used Christabel meter. Christabel meter means there is the four foot couplets and mostly iambic and anapestic meter is used by Coleridge. Christabel is a tale of spiritual selection set in a medieval castle. There was next popular poem by Coleridge which title is Kubla Khan. It came into existence in 1798. Its full title is Kubla Khan, a vision in a dream. It was also incomplete. It uh, is an echo of a dream. In 1797, while living near the Wordsworths in Somerset, Coleridge took opium and fell asleep when reading a passage in Parchas, his pilgrimage, relating to the Khan Kubla and the palace that he commanded to be built. He claimed that on awaking he was conscious of having composed in his sleep two or three hundred lines on this theme and eagerly began to set down the lines that formed this fragment. There was a next poem by Coleridge first at midnight. It was a meditative poem. It was written in blank verse. It was written at 
it was written at first at midnight was written in a blank verse poem it was written at stowe somerset in february 1798 it was addressed to his sleeping child hartley coldrich it meditates on the poet's own boyhood and magically evokes the countryside ending on a note of rare and thrilling happiness frost at midnight is the finest of coldrich's series of conversation poems it was influenced words with tinton abelines there was a next work by coldrich trans and old dejection and old which appeared in 1802 dejection and old is an autobiographical poem it was firstly published in the morning post in 1802 it was originally composed as a much longer verse letter to his beloved asra means sara hutchinson this poem describes the loss of his poetical powers the dulling of his response to nature the breakdown of his marriage and the paralyzing effects of metaphysics or opium for this poem wordsworth partly answered it in his intimations of immortality ode there was another work by coldrich remorse actually it 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 was a drama it it is a tragedy written in 1797 as osorio it was produced at drury lane in 1813 the story of this play is set in granada at the time of the spanish inquisition the most tells of the slow corruption of the character of osorio osorio was a man who supposed himself strong but who is gradually led by temptations and events into guilt and evil there was another work by coldridge the watchman Actually, it is a periodical. It was started at 1796. It is a political and literary journal. This journal was pacifist and anti-pit. It was included literary contributions from, among others, Beddoes and Pule. There was another periodical which name is the Friend. It was started in 1809. there was written some prose works by s t coldrich the first one was biographia literaria which appeared in 1817 it is the most valuable and remarkable prose work by coldrich it is a philosophical autobiography and romantic literary criticism part 1 of biographia literaria broadly autobiographical actually it describes coldridge friendship with robert sutte and with the wordsworth at stowe and it was going on to trace his struggle with the dynamic philosophy of kant fichte and schelling in germany chapter 13 contains the famous distinction between fancy and imagination part second of this work was almost entirely critical attacking wordsworth preface to the lyrical ballads and then marvelously vindicating the poetry itself this book was the book it was a touchstone of romantic criticism there was another work similin leaves its to reflection which is a religious and philosophical treatise there were talk was published posthumously there was another writer in this era sir walter scott he is known prose shakespeare historical novels and the great unknown he wrote poetry he was contributed for romantic poetry he was written the earliest poetical efforts which were translations from german such as the chase and william and helen 
वॉज अ ट्रांसलेशन ऑफ बर्गर्स डेर वर्ल्ड जैगर द वाइल्ड हंसमैन वॉज पब्लिश्ड अनोनिमसली अनदर वर्क लेनोर वॉज अ ट्रांसलेशन ऑफ गोइथेस गॉड्स वॉन बर्लिंग चिंगेन नेक्स्ट वन द मिनिस्ट्रेलसी ऑफ द स्कॉटिश बॉर्डर which was written in three volumes first and second volumes was appeared in 1802 and volume third appeared in 1803 the mistral sea of the scottish border is a collection of ballads compiled by scott it was divided into three sections first one was historical ballads second romantic ballads and third imitations of the ancient ballad there was another one the wife of ushar's well it was a first printed next literary work by scott the eu of st john after that the lay of the last minstrel was written in the cristabel meter his first considerable original work it is a romantic poem it is a poem written in six canto it is a metrical romance in irregular stanzas it was another work by scott marmion it was a remarkable grand masterpiece by scott marmion's full title is marmion a tale of loden field it was a poem in six cantos there was the next work the lady of the lake is a poem written in six cantos rock by is a poem in six cantos the breeder of tramen the lord of the isles is a poem written in six cantos the lord of the isles is a poem set at the time of battle of bannockburn it deals with the return of robert bruce to scotland in 1307 there was under harold the Dauntless is the one of the longest poem by Walter Scott. So that he also contributed for prose. There was a best and grand prose work by Scott, which title is Waverley. It was issued in eighteen fourteen anonymously, and it was the first of the novels. There was another work by Scott Guy Mannering. it was set in the 18th century narrates and it narrates the fortunes of hardy bertram some works are there the antiquary the black dwarf old mortality rob roy is a novel it's set in the period preceding the jacobite rebellion of 1715 the hurt of midlothian the bride of lammermoor a legend of montrose a legend of montrose is based on an episode in the earl of montrose campaign of 1644 to raise scotland for charles i against the covenant forces led by the marquis of argyll the love of alan macaulay for the mysterious annot lily is the main theme of this novel the most interesting part of the story is the character of digal dalgetty and all these novels deals with especially since in scotland there was another novel imanhoy it appeared in 1820 this is the first of scott's novels to deal with english it is one of the best constructed novels sacris rebecca and rowena is an amazing sequel to and critical reinterpretation of scott's tale next work was the monastery it's set in the abbey of melrose in the scotland of the early reformation it gives a vivid picture of the decline of the unreformed catholic church and the monastery has about the about the monastery the sequel of monastery is the abbot and the abbot is the sequel to the monastery this next work the abbot 
The abbot sits around the escape of Mary Queen of Scots from Loch Leven. It influenced the work of Balzac, Trollope, and many other 19th century novelists. There was another work by Scott, Kenilworth. Kenilworth is a celebration of the glories of the Elizabethan age. The story of Elizabeth and her favorite Leicester and of the betrayal and murder of Leicester's wife, Amy Robsart, caught the national mood. Shakespeare, Spencer and Sir Walter Raleigh all appear in this work. The climax of the novel is the great pageant at Kenilworth in July 1575. There is a next work by Scott, The Pirate. It is set in 17th century Shetland. It deals with the tension between long established tradition and new ideas brought into a close community by outsiders. There is next work, The Fortunes of Nigel. It sets in 17th century London. It tells the story of a young Scots nobleman, Nigel Oliphant. Nigel Oliphant comes to claim a repayment of a debt owed to his father by the king, James VI and I. The king's portrait is one of the book's highlights. And here is the next work, Peveril of the Pig. It sets in the restoration England of the Titus Poet's popish plot. The action is chiefly concerned with corruption at the court of Charles II. The next work, Quentin Darward. It is one of the most vigorous and readable of Scott's novels. It sets in 15th century France and Burgundy. It is the Scots' first venture onto the mainland of Europe. It has the story of a young Scots soldier of fortune serving in the guard of Louis XI, sorry, Louis XI, who had an enthusiastic reception in Paris. There were another work such as Saint Ronansville, Red Gauntlet, Tales of Crusaders, included the betrothed. The Talisman. The Talisman is a novel set in the army led to the Crusades by Richard I of England. Next one was Woodstock. Woodstock has a full title The Cavalier, a tale of year 1651. Woodstock set in the Civil War. This novel centers on the escape from England of Charles II. After the Battle of Worcester, there was the next work, The Chronicles of the Canongate. It is an inclusive title for Scots novels such as The Highland Widow, The Fair Maid of Perth and a story of the two drovers. The Highland Widow is a short tale. The Fair Maid of Perth has a, full, has a subtitle St. Valentine Day. The fair maid of Perth set at the end of 14th century in the Perth where the highlands touch the lowlands. It is chiefly remembered for its study of constitutional cowardice. The battle and the subplot of the assassination of the king's heir, the Duke of Ruthsey make this one of the bloody and violent of Scott's novels. This is another work, The True Drovers, is one of the most perfect of Scott's shorter tales. Annie of Gerstein is set in 15th century Switzerland. Count Robert of Paris published the year before the author's death. It was the last of the Waverless novels. It was written in Hill Health and betrays the decline of his powers. This novel set in the 11th century. First Crusade was almost the last work on by Scott. It was unfinished when he left for Italy in search of help. Next work was Castle Dangerous, Life of Napoleon. It is a gigantic work. 
tells of grandfather is a history of scotland from the roman occupation to the close of the 1745 jacobite rebellion there was some dramatic work by scott such as haldi haridon hill macduff's cross the doom of dever goyle a melodrama ochindrani or the arsha tragedy is the best one work uh, john g lockhart was written biography on scott there was one of the biography on scott which title is sir walter scott the great unknown and it was uh, written uh, it was uh, written by edgar johnson in two volumes it was published in 1970 There was another writer, Samuel Rogers. He wrote the work *The Pleasures of Memory*, *Columbus*, *Jacqueline*, which is a tale in the Byronic manner. *Italy*. There was another writer, James Hogg, who is called the Betric. Sorry, the Etric Shepherd. He wrote *Boni Kilmeni*, which is a series of songs. Next work, *Ben the*. He comes him is a lyric. It resembles those of Burns. After that, the Queen's Wake, Lock the Door, Larry Stone, is a vigorous Jacobite war songs. The Forest Minstrel, the volume of songs. The Brownie of Bord's Peak is a prose tale. There was a next poet Robert Sutte, whose lifetime was seventeen seventy four to eighteen forty three. He was become poet laureate in 1813. He was frequently mocked in Don Juan. He wrote the work Joan of Arc, Halawa the Destroyer. He was translated the work Amadis of Gaul. It was revised from an older version. His next work Madoc, the Curse of Kehama. The Curse of Kehama is a long oriental poem. It features much complex Hindu mythology. So that Roderick, the last of the Goths, is a narrative poem written by Robert Sutte. There were some short pieces by Sutte, such as the Holy Tree, the Battle of Bl Blenheim is a ballad, Inchking Rock is a ballad. There was some prose work by Sutte, such as the History of Brazil. the history of the peninsular war the life of nelson next work thomas moore he wrote irish melodies lala rook which is a oriental romance after that some political satires are there the tropeni post back first family in paris fables for the holy alliance life of byron is also prose work there is another writer thomas campbell who wrote the great poem pleasures of hope is a series of descriptions of nature written in heroic couplet the editor thomas campbell was the editor of the new monthly magazine from 1820 to 1830 he wrote next work the tribute of wyoming is a longish tale of pennsylvania it was written in spenserian stanzas There was another work, the Pilgrim of Glencoe. Yeah, Mariners of England, the Battle of Baltic. In the Romantic Age, there were one group which is called the Younger Poets, in which we find the grand personality Lord Byron. His lifetime is seventeen eighty eight to eighteen twenty four. His full name is George Gordon Byron. he created the concept the byronic hero the byronic hero is the byron's bold and brooding romantic hero byron wrote first literary work named hours of idleness which appeared in 1807 it is his first volume the volume was bitterly attacked by brougham in the edinburgh review as so much stagnant water byron responded in english bards and scotch reviewers 
English ballads and Scotch reviewers is a satire in style of Pope. It was immature. It is a satirical poem in heroic couplets. There was another work by Byron, Child Harold's Pilgrimage. It is a poem written in Spencerian stanzas. First and second canto appeared in 1812, third appeared in 1816, and fourth canto appeared in 1888. Child Harold's Pilgrimage included four cantos. There were some poetic tales written by Byron. The Gior, The Bridge of Abydos is a poem in irregular stanzas and it is the one of the his Turkish tales. There was another work, Corsair. The Lara is in fact Conrad of the Corsair returned to his domains in Spain accompanied by his page Khaled, who is his love, the slave, junior in disguise. Next work, The Seas of Corinth, Parisina, Hebrew Melodies. Hebrew Melodies is actually a collection of short poems. It is written during the early days of his marriage. Many are on scriptural subjects, but some are love songs and lyrics. The volume was published by Jewish composer Isaac Nathan. There were some longer poems. The Prisoner of Chilon is a dramatic monologue. It is principally in rhymed octosyllabics. It is written in 1816 after a visit with Shelley to the castle of Chilon on the Lake Geneva. It presents the imprisonment of a historical character the Swiss patriot Francois de Bonivard. It is one of Byron's most popular poems. There was another poem, Majeppa. Majeppa is a poem which forms an interesting transition between Byron's romantic and colloquial style. It is founded on a passage in Voltaire's Charles XII. There was another work, Beppo. Its full title is Beppo a Venetian story. It was written in Otavarima. It is a satirical poem. His poem in which Byron began to find the voice and style of Don Juan. There was another work, The Vision of Judgment. It was finest English political satire. It is an attack on Sute. It was written in Otavarima. Published in the Liberal, a vision of judgment by Robert Sute, which in its preface described Byron as the leader of the Satanic school of poetry. There was a great poem written by Lord Byron, which title is Don Juan. Shelley says, Don Juan is the greatest poem of the age. It one of the greatest of satirical poems. It is Picaresque novel cast into verse. It is written in Otavarima. It is an unfinished epic satire in Otavarima. It attack on Robert Sute, Esther Coleridge, William Wordsworth, Wellington, Lord Londonderry, Goethe, who translated a part of it. Byron also wrote some plays or dramas. He wrote specially blank verse tragedies, for example, Manfred, Marino Faliero, The True, <coughs> The True Foscari is a poetic drama, Sardana Palace is a poetic drama, Sardana Palace has a subject which was taken from the Bibliotheca Historica of Siculus. After that, Cain. Its full title is Cain a Mystery. It is a verse drama in three acts. So that the deformed, transformed, it is an unfinished poetic drama. Next writer is Percy Bashi Shelley. His lifetime is 1742 to 1822. Robert Browning says, Robert Browning says, Percy Bashi Shelley is a sun trader. 
my thorno says Shelley is a beautiful and ineffectual an angel beating in the void his luminous wings in vain Shelley's literary work is the necessity of atheism it is a prose pamphlet by pb shelley and his friend t j hogg it published anonymously at oxford in 1811 both shelley and hogg were expelled from the university for circulating the work to heads of college it is probably the first published statement of atheism in britain the next work by shelley in map it is earliest effort it is immature it is a visionary and ideological poem it is written in the irregular unrhymed meter that was made popular by robert sutte it is a poem in nine cantos next work alastor or the spirit of solitude which appeared in 1816 it is a spiritual autobiography as well as long poem it was written in blank verse it is also formless it is a visionary poem it is largely written in windsor great park in the late summer of 1815 published 1816 Alastor is a transliteration from the Greek. It means the evil spirit or demon of solitude, who pursues the poet to his death because he will not be satisfied by domestic affections and human sympathy. The work is closely associated with Shelley's prose essays on love and on life. It is a narcissistic. Thomas Peacock suggested the title. there was on the work by shelley the revolt of islam it is an epic political poem it is written at great marlow in 1870 it was written under, under the title leon and sintana or the revolution in the golden city a vision of the 19th century the poem shelley's idealized and highly idiosyncratic version of the french revolution it was transposed to an oriental setting composed in spencer standards it wrote in 12 cantos there was another work the prometheus unbound it was published in 1820 it was a combination of the lyric and the drama it was the story of prometheus it is a lyrical drama in four acts there was a next work the sensi it is not only play but also a verse tragedy the plot of this play is taken from the true story of bitrysensi bitrysensi was tried and executed for the murder of her father count francisco sensi at rome in 1850 in 1599 pb shelley was attracted by the themes of incest and atheism this play concentrates on the ego iago like evil of the count and the inner sufferings of betrays there was another work julian and madalo the mask of anarchy published in 1832 it was inspired by the news of the massacre of peterloo it is a poem of political protest it was written in response to the peterloo massacre at manchester in august 1819 the witch of atlas fc chidion adonis is an elegy it is the lament for the death of kids it modeled on the classical elegy next work is peter bell the third it is a satirical poem it was written at florence in 1819 and it was published in 1839 it is a parody of wordsworth poem of the same title it is a second peter bell which had already been published by john kitts friend j h reynolds next one is the witch of atlas it is a fantasy poem it is written in the summer of 1820 He is written from a solitary pilgrimage to Monte San Pellegrino, 
लिक्स लिक्का नीटली पब्लिश एटीन ट्वेंटी फोर सेवंटी एट स्टांजाज इज ओटो आरिमा विद इन द स्पेस ऑफ थ्री डेज मेरी शेली डिसलाइक द पोएम द विच ऑफ एटलास देर वेर सम लिरिक्स टू अ स्कायला द क्लाउड द इंडियन सेरेनाडे म्यूजिक वेन सॉफ्ट वॉइसेस डाय ऑन अ फेडेड वॉयलेट टू नाइट वर्ल्ड ओ लाइफ ओ टाइम लाइन्स रिटर्न अमॉन्ग द इंजनियन हिल्स लेटर्स टू मारिया गिजबोन यंग पार्सन रिचार्ड्स सॉन्ग टू द मेन ऑफ इंग्लैंड सोनेट इंग्लैंड एटीन नाइनटीन ओट टू द वेस्ट वाइन इज मोस्ट रिमार्केबल ओट इट वॉज रिटर्न इन अ वूड दैट स्कर्ट द आर्नो नियर फ्लोरेंस इन ऑक्टोबर एटीन नाइनटीन पब्लिश एटीन ट्वेंटी The ode is a passionate invocation to the spirit of the west wind, both the destroyer and preserver. Next work is the triumph of life. It is an unfinished visionary poem. It is written in the Bay of Lyrice in summer 1822. It is published from rough drafts 1824. It composed in Tazarima. It strongly influenced by Dante's Inferno, Petrarch. Theon fee. There were some prose like Jastrogi, Saint Arvain, Saint Arvain include two boyish romances. It was written when he was at school. The defense of poetry was published in eighteen forty. It was an essay. It was written at Pisa, eighteen twenty one. First published eighteen forty. It was begun. as a light hearted reply to his friend peacock's magazine article the four ages of poetry there was next work a philosophical view of ferrum it was a political essay it was written at pisa in 1820 it was not published until 1920 it was intended as an instructive and readable october booklet this was shelley's most mature political statement about liberty revolution and reform there was another work by pb shelley the assassins actually it is shelley's unfinished novella it reflects their dreamy travels through post war france switzerland and germany there was another great writer in the romantic era john keats his life time was 1795 to 1821 Fanny Burney, with whom Keats fell deeply in love, and with whom he remained in love until his death. Tennyson considered Keats the greatest poet of the 19th century. Mathurin says Keats is the intellectual and spiritual passion for beauty. T.S. Eliot describes the letters as certainly the most notable and most important ever written by any English poet. in his work the use of poetry and the use of criticism in 1933 its first literary work imitation of spencer it was his earliest attempt a trial of verse next work was poems poems is its first volume of verse in it there were some poems such as on first looking into chapman's homer Sleep and poetry, as two tiptoe upon a little hill. On first looking into Chapman's Homer is a sonnet, as two tiptoe upon a little hill, shows the influence of Spencer. He dedicated to Leigh Hunt this work. There was another work by Keats, Endymion. It means a thing of beauty is joy for ever. Is the, the famous line in this poem. Endymion is a poem in four books. It was dedicated to Chatterton. It is based on Dryden's "The Man, The Man in the Moon," Fletcher's "The Faithful Shepherdess." Endymion was violently attacked in the Quarterly Review and in Blackwood. Lockhart says Endymion is a calm, settled, imperturbable, imperturbable, drivelling idiocy. 
its next poem isabella or the pot of the basil it is a version of the tale from boccaccio's decameron it is a narrative poem written in ottawa rima its next poem hyperion its full title is a fragment and the fall of hyperion these fragments of epic poems hyperion started to write in 1818 and actually it is abandoned it is incomplete we can say that 1819 it is written in style and structure of the poem is modeled on paradise lost means hyperion is influenced by paradise lost there is another work the eu of the saint agnes it is the finest narrative by kits written in spenser's stanza the eu of saint agnes is set in a remote period of time in the depths of winter madeline has been told the legend that on saint agnes eu maidens may have visions of their lovers there is the madeline love for firo there is another work by it's the eu of saint mark which is unfinished lamia is a story taken from burton's the anatomy of melancholy there is next work the fall of hyperion a dream it's also wrote words such as to a nightingale on a grecian urn to psyche on melancholy to autumn john kits also wrote some sonnet he wrote 61 sonnets such as when i have fears that i may cease to be red star would i wear steadfast as thou art la belle dame sans merci which is also lyrical ballad otho the great is a drama its full title is otho the great a tragedy in five acts this next work king stephen is incompleted work after that the cap and bells is a fairy tale it is also incompleted there is next writer lehan whose life time is 1784 to 1859 he wrote journals the examiner the indicator in which contain some of his finest essays the story of rimini is best long poem by lehan it is an italian tale modeled on dante's lines on paolo and francesca there was another work the nile abu ben adam by hunt is one of the great work there was some sonnets also he wrote lehant also wrote prose works such as men women and books an autobiography he wrote novel for example sir ralph isher the town is a readable book on london there is another writer Ebenezer Elliot Elliot known as Corn Law Rhymer he wrote Corn Law Rhymes which is one of the best book he wrote battle song it is a kind of anthem for the poor there is another writer Felicia Hermans he wrote the homes of the england the graves of a household the landing of the pilgrims father in new england Felicia Hemans verse are facile and fairy melodious she wrote in simple themes and settings another writer thomas wood he wrote hero and leander the two swans the plea of the midsummer fairies which are natto poems hymns and odities is a collection of humorous verse the comic annual of the hind whimsicalities the death bed the breach of science is a tragic works of tearful intensity the haunted house the dream of engineer aram included horror poems the song of the shirt firstly published in punch in 1843 next work is ruth there is another writer john clear who wrote poems descriptive of rural life and scenery the village minstrel the shepherd's calendar the rural muse other writer james smith horace smith 
what are brothers what the road rejected addresses next writer william cullen bryant he was the first american poet he wrote the first volume of poetry the embargo so that the thanatopsis is a poetical meditation on death after that the ages is an english edition of his volume of 1872 which was published by washington irving in the same year talking about the age of wordsworth in that era so many novels are written in a short little break we will discuss continually a short break uh, we are going to continue uh, the age of wordsworth uh, in the age of wordsworth the first uh, novel writer whose name is uh, jane austen and uh, here uh, talking about uh, her uh, that uh, her lifetime is uh, 1775 to 1817 and her uh, first published works were issued anonymous, anonymously uh, what a scott praised austen's work in the quarterly review in 1815 uh, scott says uh that uh, that exquisite touch which renders ordinary commonplace things and characters interesting uh, pride and prejudice is the first work by austen <laughs> which was uh, written in written between 1796 to 1797 uh pride and prejudice was published in 1813 it was originally a youthful work entitled first impression means first impression is the subtitle of pride and prejudice uh it was refused by cadell uh, a london publisher in 1797 uh, after that jane austen regarded elizabeth bennet as a favorite among all her heroines and his next uh, work by uh, uh jane austen the next work uh, is uh, sense and sensibility which was published in 1811 it grew from a sketch entitled elinor and mariane revised the uh, 1797 98 and again 1809 and lastly it was published in 1811 northanger abbey is another work which was started to write in 1798 it sold to a publisher in 1803 it was not published till 1818 uh, northanger abbey was published posthumously in 1880 with persuasion with the novel persuasion persuasion is the title of the novel and northanger abbey was parodied the genre of the gothic novel this next work of the austen masbill park after that emma Uh, actually emma is the austen's most accomplished work that persuasion which was published posthumously in 1818 that sandition is the incomplete novel uh, by austen the next novel is maria edgeworth uh, she wrote books fall into three classes uh, firstly uh, short stories for children uh, were written by her for example the parents assistant early lessons moral tales popular tales harry and lucy concluded after that she wrote uh, irish tales for example castle rackrent is the first fully developed original novel uh, it is the first true historical novel in english points the way to the historical or original novels of scott this is the next work the absentee which was published Uh, in tales of fashionable life in 1812 it is uh, uh, the novel of irish life was first written play refused by sheridan then turned into a novel actually the absentee was written in the form of play at the beginning but when uh, sheridan was uh, refused it after that uh, the play the absentee was transferred into the novel Uh, the next work uh, by edgeworth uh, is uh, ormond yes which was published in 1870 after that 
He wrote full-length novels such as Belinda, Leonora, Patronage, which depicts contemporary English society. Harrington is there. He is a writer. John Galt. Uh, Galt uh, wrote the literary work The Irish Shire Legatees or The Pringle Family. Uh, wrote in the form of a later series. It uh, wrote in Scottish narrative. Next work, The Annals of the Parish, is the great masterpiece by Galt. The record of a fictitious country uh, minister. Next work, The Provost, The Handel or the Lads of Grippy. So that uh, next writer is William Hannison Ainsworth. Uh, he is the early imitator of Scott. He wrote 39 novels. And these 39 novels are called New Gate Novels. They were satirized by Thackeray in 1839-40 in Catherine. In 1840, uh, Ainsworth became the editor of Bentley's Miscellany, <coughs> a very successful periodical consisting of essays, stories, and poems, but mainly of fiction, begun by Richard Bentley. Dickens was the first editor, and Oliver Wood's twist appeared in its pages in 1837-38. Uh, John Hamilton Reynolds, Hook, Magin, Ensworth, and uh, later Thackeray and Longfellow were among its contributors. And uh, they are talking about uh, him. That group, Crick, uh, Shank, and Leach provided lively illustrations. And in its early heydays, the miscellany covered with biography or critical articles all the important writers of the early 19th century. There was a the work of in uh, Ensworth, Sir John Stewarton is a first novel. Yes, it is a first novel by Ensworth. It is written in collaboration with John Aston. There were other works such as uh, Rookwood, Jack Shepard, The Tower of London. Old St. Paul's, Windsor Castle, The Star Chamber, The Constable of the Tower, Preston Fight or the Insurrection of 1715. So that the work, uh, uh, the writer, sorry, another writer, George P. R. James, whose full name is George Penny Rainsford James. Uh, James was a follower of the method of Scott. Uh, he was the historiographer royal. Uh, Thackeray parodied him as the solitary horseman in his burlesque uh, Barbagier by G. R. James S.K. There is another work, Richelieu, A Tale of France, is a strong resembl resemblance to Quentin Derward. It's considered to be his first novel, the Darnley or the Field of the Cloth of Gold, the Lorme, um, the Gypsy. Lord Montague's page is another writer, Charles Lever. Uh, in 1842, Lever became the editor of the Dublin University magazine. Uh, he gave up medicine for the editorship of the Dublin University magazine. He received much encouragement and advice from Thackeray. He was admired by George Eliot and Trollope. His work, The Confession of Harry Lorecker, is the first novel. It is a Fikarski novel. Charles O'Malley, The Irish Dragon, the Jack Hinton, Tom Burke of Ours are some works. After that, but Jack Hinton and Tom Burke of Ours uh, appeared together as Our Yes. And all these novels are either set in Ireland or deal with the Irish character. There are another work, uh, O Dongues, or The Night of Gwen is a historical novel. Uh, the Martins of Pro Martin uh, provides a spirited uh, portrait of life in the west of Ireland, so that the Dodd family abroad, the fortunes of Glencoe, uh, there is a writer, Frederick Marriott, Captain Frederick Marriott. Yes, his full name is Captain Frederick or he is called Captain Frederick Marat. He is a novel captain. He followed Smollett tradition of writing sea stories. 
he uh, wrote the work the naval officer or since an adventurous in the life of frank mild may which appeared in 1829 it is a partly it is a partly autobiograph autobiographical story of adventures at sea there are some works such as the king's own and after that there is another work the children of the new forest which is a historical novel uh, talking about children of the new forest it is uh, about the adventures of the four beverly children uh, these four beverly children are orphaned during the civil war would take refuge with the learn the arts of survival from jacob Armitage. Uh, Jacob Armitage is actually a poor forester. There are some short stories written, sorry, stories written by the writer. For example, Jacob Faithful, Peter Simple, the Jaffet in Search of a Father. Uh, Jaffet in Search of a Father is a short story uh, of the struggles of a foundling. There is another work, Mr. Midshipman E.G. Masterman Ready. There is the next writer, Michael Scott, uh, who wrote the theme named The Sea. Especially, he wrote two tales Tom Kringle's Log and The Cruise of the Midge. Both Tom Kringle's Log and The Cruise of the Midge was, sorry, were published in Blackwood's Magazine between 1829 to 1833. The next writer who is Thomas Lowe Peacock. Next one is Thomas Lowe Peacock who is a satirist, essayist and poet. His eldest daughter Mary Ellen who became the first wife of George Meredith and features in Meredith's sonnet sequence Modern Love. Uh, Peacock entered the East India Company's service in 1819. He wrote some verses such as Palmera and other poems, The Genius of the Thames, The Philosophy of Melancholy, Odo Daphne or The Thessalian Spell is a fine and historically important poem in the mythological manner of Tits Lamia. Next one, The Paper Money Lyrics is a lampoon, dogmas of political economists and the malpractices of bankers. Uh, he wrote uh, some novels, he wrote nearby seven novels. Uh, there was uh, the most important novel, Headlong Hall is a satire. For that, Melin Court has a full title or subtitle, Sir Oran Honton. It is a satire. It is one of the longest and most ambitious of Peacock's books. The plot indebted to Richardson's Clarissa and to Holcroft's Anna Steves is strong feminist connotations. His other work, Nightmare Abbey, is the most literary of Peacock's satires. It mocks the modish gloom infecting contemporary literature, Polish German transcendentalism, Byron's self dramatizing, and Shelley's esotericism are ridiculed. There are some works, Maid Marian. The Misfortunes of Elfin, Crochet Castle, Will Grange. There is another work uh, by Thomas Lowe Peacock, The Four Ages of Poetry. And uh, in it, his Peacock's own age is classed as the age of brass. Shelley replied in a defense of poetry to the work of Peacock. There is another work, essay on fashionable. Uh, literature and uh, it, it, it is a fragment written in 1880. Uh, there is a next writer, Washington Irving, whose lifetime between 1783 to 1859. Irving was first American novelist to establish a, a European reputation. His works were admired by Walter Scott. He has a pseudonym, Topic Crayon Jane. Uh, his work a history of New York from the beginning of the world to the end of the Dutch dynasty is a comic history of an imaginary Dutchman called Knickerbocker. 
He wrote the work the Sketchbook, the Sketchbook, the collection of short tales and sketches. There were some tales such as Deep Van Winkle, Sleepy Hollow. The next work, uh, the Blazebridge Hall, is a series of sketches of the life of the English square key. The works were tales of a traveler, tales of the Alhambra life. History of the life and voyages of Columbus, the conquest of Granada, life of Washington. There is another great writer, James Fenimore Cooper, whose lifetime is 1789 to 1851. He wrote his first novel named Precaution. There were other no novels such as The Spy, Pilot, The Red Rover, Pioneers, The Last of the Mohicans. The, pan the, the, the Pathfinder and the last one, the Deerslayer had uh, talking about uh, the age of Wordsworth, we find there were some writers who wrote miscellaneous prose and uh, among them first one is Charles Lamb, his lifetime, uh, whose lifetime is 1775 to 1834. Uh, Lamb educated at Christ Hospital. He obtained at 17 an appointment in the East India House. In 1796, his sister Mary, in a fit of insanity, killed their mother. Charles Lamb's sister Mary killed uh, their mother, Mary Ann Lamb. Mary, full name is Mary Ann Lamb. Mary Ann Lamb is the sister of Charles Lamb. So Mary collaborated with her brother, Miss Charles, in writing for children the prose tells from Shakespeare, which appeared in 1807. After that, Mary wrote the greater part of MRS Leicester School. Uh, Mrs. Leicester School, not MRS, <laughs> Mrs. Leicester School is a book of uh, stories. Uh, for children containing many autobiographical details to which her brother contributed three tales and uh, actually Yester Coolidge was the lifelong friend uh, with Charles Lamb. A.C. Bradley uh, regarded uh, uh, Charles Lamb as the greatest critic of his century and that's why Charles Lamb is uh, known uh, Prince of English Essays, Master of Human and Pathos that uh, he was also known egoist as Montagne. Uh, he also wrote some short pieces such as uh, the old familiar faces to Hester, uh, John Urville. See, John Urville, um, um, John Urville is a play. It is a tragedy. And, uh, it uh, first called Pride's uh, Cure. Called Pride's Cure. Really. Was called. After that, uh, uh, John uh, Woodwill was called Paris Cure. Uh, yes, so it was a work. John Woodwill is the work. The play it is a tragedy, and this the work is called Paris Cure, and it is an ineffective tragedy in the Elizabethan style. After that, there is the next work, Tales from Shakespeare, uh, which is written uh, by the Charles, collaborated with his, uh, his sister Mary Lamb. After that, a uh, specimen of English dramatic poets who lived about the time of Shakespeare is a critical work. And uh, Charles Lamb's first of his essays appeared in the London Magazine in 1820. One of the work, Elia. After that, the essays of Elia, which appeared in 1823. And these are the miscellaneous essays and there is the first series appeared in the London magazine between 1820 and 23 adopted the name Elia uh, the former Italian clerk at the South Sea house and it apparently to save the embarrassment of his brother John who worked at the same place there's some of the best known essays uh, were in this work such as uh, some of the old ventures of the Inner Temple, Christ Hospital, South Sea House, Mrs. Batter's opinions on his dream children and a dissertation on roast beef. This is another one, the last essays of Elia. There is another great writer in this era, Thomas De Quincey. 
his lifetime is between uh, 1785 to 1859 he says uh, De Quincey says literature has the power to teach and literature of knowledge is to move hence the first is rudder second an or or a soil his work uh, confessions of an english opium eater uh, appeared in london magazine and De Quincey's study of his own opium addiction and its psychological effects traces how childhood and youthful experiences are transformed under the influence of opium into symbolical and revealing dreams. There is another one, the English male coach uh, Suspira de Profundis, Profundis uh, that uh, um, on murder considered as one of the fine arts. Uh, there is a next writer, William Hazlitt. Uh, his lifetime uh, is uh, between 1778 to 1830. He is a critic, theatre critic, an essayist. That's why he is also called a critics critic. He is the first original master of English prose in the 19th century. He is a serious revival, sorry, rev serious rival of Coleridge in the value of his critical writings. He is the standard biography. He is yes, Jones. Has lived a life. Uh, uh, he is from 1814. He contributed to the Edinburgh Review. His articles appeared in the Examiner, the Times, and the London Magazine. There were some lectures by Hazlitt. Uh, the lectures uh, such as uh, Cactus of Shakespeare's Place, which appeared in 1870s. Uh, there are essays in these texts, and uh, there are comment uh, not only upon Ham Hamlet. Macbeth and other fictional heroes, but also upon the distinctive qualities of each major drama and more generally upon the magnanimity of Shakespeare's imagination. Mm, especially notable is the essay on Coriolanus, which considers the affinities between poetic imagination and political power. It rebooks Dr. Johnson for his unimaginative treatment of Shakespeare and attempts a more flexible sympathetic appreciation uh, the, uh, another one uh, the lectures lectures on the english poets it is a critical work and uh, it is the series uh, begins with chaucer and spencer concludes with wordsworth and mystical coolridge uh, by contrast with these lake poets shakespeare is praised for his lack of egotism egotism and emerson in his character. Uh, this view influenced the poetics of Kitts who attended the lectures. Uh, the characteristic of Chaucer's intensity of Spencer, remoteness of Milton, elevation of Shakespeare, everything. Uh, the English comic writers, uh, the dramatic literature of the age of Elizabeth and Liber Amoris. There are some essays written by them by him sorry uh, the round table is a collection of essay after that table talk or original essays on main and manners uh, the speed of the age or contemporary portraits literary remains is a posthumous work there is another one uh, it containing two of his most striking essays my first acquaintance with poets and the fight there is uh, another one uh, walter savage and lander who is one of the important writer in this era? Uh, is the literary text poems is a collection of miscellaneous works modeled on the classics. The uh, Jabir is a epic poem. Uh, Hellenics is a narrative based on Greek mythology. It is the most part in blank verse. It is augmented in 1847 and 1859. Um, it is the last fruits of an old tree. Uh, uh, next one, Heroic Idols, uh, Count Julian is a drama. Uh, after that, Imaginary Conversations is one of the work. It is published at intervals between 1824 to 1846. After that, there is a next writer, Francie Jeffrey is one of the writers in this era. Uh, uh, he is uh, also called Admirers. By the Admirers, he called Arc. Other people well, he called our critic and uh, victims were Judge Jeffrey and actually J 
Jeffrey was one of the founder of the Edinburgh Review uh, because uh, it is a joint production of group of young and jealous Whigs, including Sidney Smith and Henry Brougham. Uh, it is a quarterly periodical and it is established by Francis Jeffrey, Sidney Smith, and Henry Brougham. And uh, it originally published by Constable. There is another writer, Sidney Smith. Uh, Sidney Smith wrote a literary work, Letters on the Subject of the Catholics to My Brother Abraham, who lives in the country by Peter Plamley. Uh, it deals with the Catholic emancipation. So that next work, Wit and Wisdom. The next writer, John Wilson, also important writer. So that uh, he wrote, uh, he known as Christopher North. And uh, uh, he wrote some earlier poems such as the Eastley of Psalms, Palms, the City of the Plague. He wrote uh, novels such as the Trials of Margaret Lindsay uh, after Noctis Ambrosians is the longest work. Um, after that, next writer is John G. Lockhart, who is one of the important writer in this era. Who is uh, full name is John Gibson Lockhart. He is one of the principal contributors to Blackwood's magazine. His nickname is the Scorpion. Mm. He, uh, he is the editor of the Quarterly Review from 1825 till 1853. He married uh, with Sir Walter Scott's daughter Sophia. He is the biographer of his father-in-law. He wrote four novels. Lockhart's one of the novel is Valerius, Adam Blair. Both are best novels, Valerius and Adam Blair are best novels. After that, uh, Ancient uh, Spanish Ballads is a poetry. The Peter's Letters to His Kinsfolk is a collection of brilliant sketches of Edinburgh and Glasgow Society. So that Memoirs of the Life of the Sir Walter Scott was firstly published in seven volumes. It uh, is one of the great biographies in the language. There is another writer in this era, William Cobbett. He is an assiduous journalist and uh, there were some journals which uh, he was made popular such as the Porcupine, Cobbett's Weekly Political Register, after that uh, Rural Rights. Uh, rural Rights is an account of the English countries through which he wandered. He is one of the major prolific uh, prose writer whose name is Mary Wollstonecraft. Her lifetime um, is between 1759 to 1797. Horace Walpole says about her that uh, Wollstonecraft is a hyena in petticoats. Uh, Wollstonecraft died from uh, septicemia shortly after the birth of her daughter. The future Mary Shelley, we can say that after the birth of her daughter, Christian Trapp died. And uh, Godwin published a memoir in 1798, which is edited, which edited her posthumous works in the same year and portrayed her in his novel Saint Leon. Another work taught on the education of daughters written by Trapp, that Mary is the novel which was published by a radical publisher, Johnson. Uh, the grand work, uh, A Vindication of the Rights of Men, which appeared in 1790. So it is a reply to book. And the next grand work is A Vindication of the Rights of Women, which appeared in 1792. It is a grand work. In this work, the author, Ms. Wollstonecraft, attacks the educational restrictions and mistaken notions of female excellence that keep women in a state of ignorance and slavish dependence. In it, Wollstonecraft argues that girls are forced into passivity, vanity and credulity by lack of physical and mental stimulus and by a constant insistence on the need to please. The next one of the most important writers, Mary Shelley. Lifetime is between 1797 to 1851. Full name is Mary Wollstonecraft Shelley. 
she is the daughter of godwin and mary wollstonecraft she wrote uh, the famous work frankenstein its subtitle is the modern prometheus the gothic uh, novel or gothic tale of terror uh, uh, technically it is an ep epistolary novel uh, because it was told through the letters of walton here we find an english uh, explorer in the arctic the tale relates the exploits of frankenstein an idealistic genuine student of natural philosophy who discovers at the university of inglo stand great of imparting life to the inanimate matter he is on the work by mary shelley while perga which is a romance set in 14th century italy next one the last man the novel set in future it describes england as a republic it is the gradual destruction of the human race by plague in it there is a narrator uh, leonel verne novel begins life as a shepherd boy and after many wanderings finds himself as the last survivor amidst the ruin grandeurs of rome in the year 21000 so that there is uh, some history history writers who also called historians uh, first one henry hart millman uh, who wrote the work fajo which is a tragedy after that the history of the jews the history of latin christianity also wrote by millman uh, george grote wrote a history of greece after that henry hallam uh, wrote uh, the constitutional uh, history of england from the accession accession of henry vii to the death of george ii uh, and next work is introduction to the literature of europe in the 15th 16th and 17th century in this way uh, we find that uh, uh, the will uh, the age of wordsworth is completed here i want to say thank you see you